Sister, the house you bought is giving you a lot of pressure. You hear me? So now let's pray for a promotion so that you can be able to afford it. Never. Huh? Never. You're saying never for what? Promotion. The house that she bought, this is a bond house. Now when she paid the house, she's left with nothing. A promotion must come. She built that the rooms, no one will stay there. No one will stay there? Yes. Can you hear that? No one. She builds rooms because she wants the rooms to help with the rent. Huh? No with the one. load. I think there's a load. Yes. No huh? one. No one will stay there. No one will stay there. They are finished. No one. They are coming, but no one is coming to stay. No one is coming to stay. Yes. So I'm commanding the demon that is there to live now. Yes. Huh? No. She wants to give you that money. The first rent she wants to give it to you. Oh, let it come over. But it's a small amount. She said oh. one room she will give it to you. 1,300 she wants to give it to you. Give her says, <laughs> only one room. She's got four. Uh, she said one room. If one person can enter, uh, I will give you today two. Today is a to day. Uh, and I'm, I'm sending spiritual everything. You, you are sending what? Spiritual and so some of you have got uh, rental properties. People are not staying there. They just come and go. Yeah, there's a demon somewhere. And that demon doesn't want you to have money. Huh? I send a baboon in a house. You send a baboon? Yes. In the house? The so now this baboon is the one that is chasing gone. people away. It's another house. I can't show she wants houses. Ah. She's got three. Ah. But there is no one. They are Baboon. saying to pay. Hey, she can show a picture. She took it. She took what? The, the baboon it was on top of the roof. We <coughs> sent it during the day. This is serious, eh? Yes, yes. This girl, she's a millionaire. So who are you? Yes, yes. <laughs> no way, nah. She did what? She saw you. Doing what? You were praying for her? Uh, Spiritual not husband? Spiritual it's not, husband? It's not me, it's Jesus. Yes, even if you are Jesus, you are praying for your spiritual husband. Uh. I attack her with a snake. So she who are you? It. Who are you? Yeah, she knows me. She knows you? Yes. She knows um, me very well. I always tell you this thing. You can never be wished by someone who's far from she, you. I, she saw me. The <laughs> very same people you trust that you call every day. She was crying. They are killing you. On Monday, she called the mother. Mama, I'm uh. tired. What I'm facing is too much for me. We want to kill her. You want to kill her? Yes, those rooms. Uh. Want those, she will have money when. No, she will give it to you. That one, 1,300. If one can enter, she will give it to you. But 1,000 is very small she's for got me. Debt. <laughs> she's got debt, but she said, even though I get one, uh. I will give it to you. So now, as I'm speaking now, people are going to a house now yeah. to search for a place to stay. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. Magananisa. With me here today is my sister who is located during the service today by Prophet Andres Simono. Ma'am, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Michlut Matebula. I'm from Pretoria. All right. The man of God spoke to you upon... The man of God spoke upon your life today. Would you kindly please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm it. The man of God said to me, there is, a, there is a house that I have, and I have a loan. After I get paid, uh, the loan took all the money. I don't have money anymore. I've built the rooms in social Ngobe, but no one is coming to stay in the rooms. So it's a, it's a problem to me. It's a challenge to me because now I don't have anything. I've got paid last week, but now I don't have anything because I was expecting people to come and occupy the rooms, but no one is coming. They will come and view, but they won't come back. Yes. And how has this affected you? It's affected me uh, emotionally, physically. I always cried. On Monday, I called my mom about what I'm facing. Good mama, what I'm, I'm, I'm facing now is tough for me. If I can die, I don't know. Because I'm being attacked day and night. Spiritual husband, snakes every day. And then once they once came a baboon in my house during the day. And it's 
there are tenants that are staying in that house. Since that the baboon came, they are failing to pay rent. So I'm struggling a lot financially. Yes. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and spoke to you regarding the problems that you are facing and even spoke solutions upon your life? Today I'm so happy because I'll be free from debt. Uh, people will come because even now when I enter the church there was someone who called me, Corey, you want to view? So I believe after viewing you will come and stay. Yeah. And how would you encourage somebody who's watching this? If you are facing what I'm facing, you can come to church. We have the grace. Nobody can stop us. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank God for what he has done for me. Prophet Andres spoke to me that I have a loan that is stressing me. Yeah, because I made rooms in Soshanguve. People would just come to view the rooms and they would never come to move in. So they prayed for me and they said they are releasing people to come and move in. So last week Sunday, last week Sunday, three people moved in and allowed to Hallelujah. Amen.